Hey, what is going on guys, Sergeant Texas. Welcome to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, we are going to be taking apart an HP Omen 16B0013DX, if you're curious on the model number. We're actually going to be installing this battery, which is something we haven't done on this channel. And the main reason for this is because the battery is completely dead and uh, a lot of newer laptops actually use the battery as a CMOS. So in this case, when the laptop's unplugged and it you know stays off for a while, the battery gets discharged because the battery's completely dead. And then the CMOS is reset and then the time isn't being stayed or being held onto the, well, the battery, which is the CMOS. I'm not really sure why, or it might be CMOS. I call it CMOS. I've always called it that. Um, I'm not really sure why laptop companies are doing this. It's probably just as cut costs, which is fair. It's completely fair. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this apart. This is a very simple, very simple task. Uh, you don't have to overthink it. All you got to do is remove a couple screws, remove some more, take the old battery out, put the new one in. So the first thing you want to do is flip the laptop over. Uh, you're wondering whether the UPS, this is to protect the back. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove all the screws. Uh, this laptop has been in, so I have been inside of this laptop. Uh, for this specific model, you've got two screws here, two screws here, two screws here, and two, two screws here. The feet do not have screws under them. I did confirm that. Now, it's just going to be a Phillips, but it's going to be a much smaller one. Oh, this one will work. So you're just going to remove these screws. I think some of these are capsized, so you don't have to take them out. Um, what I usually do is I like to keep them where they are. That way I don't lose them. Um, if they come out, then just put them somewhere where you won't lose them because these are very easy to lose. All you have to do is just, if they don't come out, don't pull them out either. I think these bottom ones do come out though, so we will pull these out. Uh, I usually like to just put them somewhere where they won't get lost. In this case, I'll put them on the table. All right, once you got all the screws out, and I do actually recommend taking all the screws out, um, these weren't magnetic, but what you can usually do is grab this and magnetize them. Just sit there and do that, or you can magnetize your screwdriver and then pull them out and then put them off to the side. That way, when you rip it up, they don't go flying. Ask me how I know. I've done it multiple times. Uh, so for this, all you got to do is grab a spudger, go to the back of the device. Uh, you got to find like kind of a weak, not necessarily a weak spot, but somewhere where you can shove it in. That's what she said. Uh, anyway, you want to just pull back, pull back. Uh, and then you're going to want to be careful over here because this is the Ethernet uh, arm, I guess. It just pulls, it goes up when you plug an Ethernet cable and you don't want to break that. So just be careful as you're pulling up. And then what you can do is... Well, that's okay. Well, most laptops have it built into the back cover, but you can just see it's, you know, it's just there. But back cover's off, put it off to the side where you don't lose it. And here's the battery we got to pull out. We're going to pull out the old battery first, or the new one, and confirm it's going to fit, which it looks like it is. Oh, this is good. This is amazing. So if you look closely, you can see that they, it, they, that's what the smell is. It's paint. They tried to paint over the HP logos. That is gold. Hold on. They tried to paint over the HP logo, and they tried to paint over that so you can't see it. That way they are selling it as their battery. This better not be a used battery either. I'm going to be pretty upset if it is because we were supposed to buy a brand new one. Uh, it's got this metal strip. I don't know what that's for specifically. It might be ground. But uh, yeah, no, this is that's sad. They covered this up with like a piece of tape. Anywhere where there's HP, you can see that they covered it up because they don't want you to know that it's an actual HP battery, which is not a bad thing. Knowing that it's an HP battery is a good thing, because I bet. Look at that. It's an HP. <laughs> That's so good. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. All right, so apart from that, uh, all you got to do is get your screwdriver. It's usually a Phillips. Uh, sometimes HP uses, like, Torx or something, but usually it's a Phillips, like, nine times out of ten. Obviously, put these screws off to the side so you don't lose them. All right, once you get all the screws out, go ahead and pull up. Just be careful, because sometimes there's uh, they clip under a piece of plastic, which means you got to pull them out carefully. Do I have to take the SSD out? I think there's a screw into the SSD. Wow, good job, HP. Making our life 10 times easier, huh? Well, you gotta remove the SSD to get the last screw. Not a huge deal, it's kind of annoying though. Now what you wanna do is you just wanna pull up and then pull out. That's also what she said. Sorry, YouTube. Kids, if you're, if you're watching this and you are you don't know what that means, that's good. You, you don't need to know what that means. But yeah, that's, that's that. Uh, take the old battery out. Don't break it or puncture it. Otherwise, it's gonna cause a fire. Then what you want to do with a new battery is just slide it in, line it up with all the holes. Uh, definitely plug it in first, because trust me, this might be like old stock from HP. They might have sold off all these batteries to companies, and they're just trying to cover up the logo. So all you got to do is close it, or sorry, not close it, screw it in. I usually go, eh, it's a battery. You don't need to like do the whole crisscross thing. You can if you want, if you want to just be safe, but I don't ever do the crisscross thing with batteries. Sometimes I do, but sometimes I don't. All right, so now that you got the battery in, I highly recommend putting the back panel on and testing it, which is what we're going to do. I don't recommend putting the screws back in. You're more than welcome to push the clips down. Um, unless it's hard, just set the back panel and flip it over. That way you can turn it on. All right, so we're in. Mini Windows 10. 
Well, we are charging. We're at 45%. Now, if I unplug it. Okay, so we got 45% remaining. Uh, let's just see if it goes down at all, if I just sit here for a second. But I don't think it's going to. I think the battery's going to be somewhat okay. We're not really doing anything. We're in a really lightweight version of Windows anyway. But that seems to be okay. I can't really test it further. I'd like to do, like, 4K video or something. But I can't because I don't have... Uh, have the password and mini windows 10 does support it but you gotta connect to the internet and you can't with this you have to uh, plug in an ethernet cable and i don't really have one just laying around so that's how you up upgrade the battery in an hp omen 16 b0013 dx so if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like if you guys did not enjoy the video drop a dislike subscribe sub sorry subscribe to the channel if you guys are new if you guys have any questions or comments let me know in the comments below uh, if you guys have any suggestions for videos you would like to see, it could be me fixing a laptop, it could be me looking at a software. Also, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys next video, and peace out.